Now what are the components of reproductive health? If you look into the female reproductive system, this is the female reproductive system which is having the, the this is called as the fundus fallopian tubules and they are being attached with the ovaries with this fimbrae and also the ovarian tissues. This is the uterus followed by the cervix and vagina. So what is happening here is that the uterus is consisting of three layers that is the, the, the three layers of the uterus is the endometrium, perimetrium and myometrium. So what is happening in the reproductive health is family, planning, counseling, information, education, communication and services. The first thing is uh, the, uh, the married people that means both the male and the female must they must be given family planning counselings. Next is they must be given information what will be good and what will be bad so for the reproductive health. So information and counselling must be given. Next is education. Education is a very powerful tool for all the youngsters. So from the 13 years to 24 years of age of youngsters, they are being vulnerable to all these diseases. So education is the primary and the strongest weapon wherein they will be knowing by themselves what are the different conditions if they have the different diseases or illness for this reproduction and also the communication and also the services. Next is education and services for prenatal care. So immediately after the childbirth or part nutrition also they must know what kind of care must be taken for the children and safe deliveries. What is meant by safe delivery and what are the different complexities for the female for the delivery process. This also has to be taken care and this will be given only by the education and the postnatal care postnatal care especially the breastfeeding is very very important for all the human beings because the breastfeeding is essential because the first milk that is colostrum contains lots of enzymes antibodies and minerals which are essential for the child okay so the breastfeeding very very important infant and women's health care how to take care of the the infants how to take care of the infants and also the mother both for the mother and for the child the care must be taken so for this reason the marriage age has been fixed as 18 years for the female and 21 years for the male for the this is the marriage age which has to be given which has been given by the government and this is a strictly it must be adopted and if any child marriages are there the strict stringent actions will be taken by the government of India next prevention and appropriate treatment of infertility not that every every couple who gets married will be getting children these days lot of infertility is being seen both in the male and also in the females so what is happening in India is the mostly females or the ladies have are becoming culprit for infertility but that is not the reason both will be having problem or males or females so so this should not be pushed to the females. So, so infertility problem may be due to many conditions like environment, stress, strain and also genetic reasons may be there. And abortion, so early age of marriage is the one thing where abortions takes place and sexually transmitted diseases are also seen and the reproductive tract infections are seen due to lack of education or awareness. They must know what kind of diseases they will get and how, how dangerous are those diseases. They not only destroy their systems but also kills the organisms completely. That means they will, the human being will die with this kind of uh, diseases which are very very dangerous. The diseases like AIDS has no medicine till today. 
So AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome which is being get, which is being transmitted through sexually. So sexually transmitted diseases are very very dangerous because of the unaware or there is no education the young people and also the middle age group are suffering with this diseases. Now information education and counseling as appropriate on human sexuality reproductive health and reasonable parenthood okay so these are the different aspects and components of reproductive health